Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today Apple has just released iOS 16 beta 6. Yes, just a week exactly after the release of beta 5, Apple has released the next beta and now we're officially on the one week cycle, which means that every week we will see a new iOS 16 beta until the final release. Now in this video, we're going to talk about the sixth beta and of course all the new features and changes and what I expect next from iOS 16. First of all, we're starting with the size of the update. iOS 16 beta 6 will come to your device at around 400 megabytes. As always, that will be different on different devices. And of course, it will be different based on which software you have currently installed on your device. Moving on to the build number. Now, this is really interesting. The build number for iOS 16 beta 6 is 28.5349B. This is really interesting. It means that the final release is actually very, very close. So we will probably see another two betas and then the RC version. And then of course, maybe three betas, then the RC version, and then the final release of iOS 16. Moving on to the new features and changes that you will be able to find on iOS 16 beta 6. But before we talk about that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do so. It really helps out a lot as most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed. So I would really appreciate if you could take a second and subscribe to the channel and moving on with the first change that I've noticed on iOS 16 beta 6. Now, this is really interesting. The apps switcher hasn't changed in years and if you just take a look at it right now you will notice that actually it's not changed but right here you will notice that all the cards that are of course despite the one here are now way more transparent now this is something similar to the background on the app on the tab switcher here on safari the same effect you will find right here on the app switcher now i don't know if you can tell this from the camera but go ahead try it out on your device you will notice it even more with the dark mode but these cards right here are now way more transparent now with beta 5, we got the new battery percentage on the status bar. A really interesting thing with that is that on beta 5, if you don't enable the battery percentage on the status bar and you enable low power mode, that would actually enable the percentage automatically. And also if you had low power mode enabled and the battery percentage enabled, you wouldn't be able to actually turn off battery percentage as long as you have the low power mode enabled. Now these are independent from one another. You can actually do here whatever you want. You can turn each of them on, each of them off, and it won't interrupt, interrupt with one another. So you can choose whether you want to have the percentage on or not, whether you have low power mode turned on or not. As I said earlier, with iOS 16 beta 6 now, and of course we are moving to a weekly schedule, Apple now is looking just to refine things, make all the current features way better. Now, of course, there will be a few new features, but mostly they will focus on the current features and make them better. Now, this right here is a change that I've noticed. This album right here, when you go to add a new wallpaper, the People's Album was missing with Beta 5, and now it's back with iOS 16 Beta 6. Another change with the wallpapers, when you go to your settings and you go to wallpapers, you will have, of course, here your home and your lock screen. When you tap on customize, it would show a pop-up here asking you whether you want to add a new wallpaper or you want to customize the current one. Now it just takes you directly to the current wallpaper and you can customize it from here. And one more time, Apple has changed the album art on the lock screen now it's again smaller now with first like on beta 3 or, or beta 4 it was introduced i believe it was like this and then it got a lot bigger and now it's back to a smaller size these are some of the new features and changes on iOS 16 beta 6. Of course, there will be more, but we need more time to discover them. Now, here we have a few from the previous beta that we have missed. When you tap and hold here the forwards or the backwards button on the lock screen or the control center, it will skip 10 seconds backwards or forwards, of course, depending on which button you're holding. On one of my iOS 16 beta 5 videos, I showed you the new icons for the portrait mode and the portrait mode selfie on the control center. Well, that's on here as well. If you 3D touch on the camera, but on the camera actually icon on the home screen, you will see these two new icons as well. 
and this is new with iOS 16 as well. When you swipe on one of the apps like this, on the iPhone storage section on the settings app, now you can upload it or delete it from here. Now, previously, I believe you could delete it, but not upload it. You had to go in here to upload it. Now you can do that directly from the list. And now let's talk performance. Here we have the Geekbench scores of iOS 16 beta 6. Now, keep in mind that I did this test just after I updated the device. And of course, it needs some time to rest in order to get better scores. So I will do another one on the next video, on a follow-up video that I will do on this beta. But the initial test gave us these results of the single core score right here, 1586. While we have here 1596, not that much of a change here with beta 5 and beta 6. And then on the multi-core score, here we got a little lower score than I expected. So we have 3749 while we had 4127 with beta 5. So what's next with iOS 16? Well, as I said at the beginning, we're now officially on a weekly schedule. So whether that will be Monday or Tuesday, you will most likely see a new beta every week. Now I would expect Apple to actually release iOS 16 on September 12th. So what I expect them to do, another beta right here on the 22nd, we will most likely see another beta here on 29th and then Right here on Tuesday, where they hold their event, as the rumors are that the event will be held on September 6th, that day we should also see the RC version of iOS 16, which means that that will be the final version of betas that Apple releases before they release the public release of iOS 16, which should happen on September 12th, if all the rumors turn out to be true, of course. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to be updated with more news regarding iOS 16 and, of course, it's released, make sure you subscribe and leave a like on this video. I'll see you on the next one.